Edward Jenner was born on May 17, 1749 in Berkeley, Gloucestershire. In 1770, he went to London to study medicine under John Hunter, a British surgeon. After finishing his studies, he returned to Berkeley. In those days, smallpox was a dreaded disease. Many people tried to inoculate themselves with the pus from smallpox sores, so that they would catch a light case of the disease and be immune for the rest of their lives. However, this method was dangerous. Some also believe that dairy maids who had got cowpox could not catch smallpox. Cowpox is a minor disease which causes a few sores on the hands, and there is a slight danger of death. In 1796, Jenna experimented on this. He took the bus from the hand of Sarah Nems, a local dairy maid. Jenna then made two cuts in the arm of James Phipp, a healthy eight-year-old boy, and inserted the matter from the cowpox sores into his arm. The boy soon caught cowpox. After 48 days, he injected smallpox matter into the boy's arm. The smallpox matter did not have any effect on the boy because he had already been vaccinated with cowpox matter. This was the first vaccination ever given. After a series of experiments, he published an inquiry into the causes and effects of Verile vaccine in 1798, and further observations on the Verile vaccine or cowpox in 1799. After 1800 vaccination was accepted to prevent people from catching smallpox. Oxford University awarded him the degree of Honorary Doctor of Medicine in 1813 and gave him monetary assistance to aid him in further research. He died in 1823. Thank you.